What up everybody, In Your Base here again with another episode of Terraria. So today I'm going to talk about a couple new things. First off, it's going to be the Dark Lance, which is this new weapon. It's the new badass spear of the game. And it is found in gold chested chests that are found in either Hellworld or dungeons. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find some mobs and I'm going to attack them. I'm going to test out all these new weapons. I got them all up here in my bar. So I can let you guys know and uh, what I think of these new weapons that we got. I've tested a few of them. I've tested out the seed launcher before. That thing sucks though, hardcore. I think I'm just going to go to the area underneath my base. Here we go. Here's the slime. Boom. It does 26 damage to slime. So that's pretty solid. All right. Next up is Knight's Edge, which I created in my first video for the update. Um, it is used making at a demon altar, and you use a Maramasa, a blade of grass, a fiery greatsword, and a knight's or a dark edge. I think it's that. It's that sword that's made out of uh, demonite ore. Anyway, this hits them, does 39 damage. Um, I was also doing 41 damage to someone early, earlier. Another weapon is the demon scythe. And the Demon Scythe is a drop from Demons in Hellworld, and it's a 1 in 50 chance to drop. And it's basically their spell that they do, and you basically aim it at them, and you press the click button, and it sends this bolt, which hits them, and it does a lot of damage. And if you can, you can actually shoot it a bunch of times. So, see, I can go like that, and it just hits that one spot if I'm aiming there, or I can just, you know, click all around in all these different directions, and it makes it shoot out and all over the place. So that's a really, really sweet, useful thing. And it goes through walls and stuff, so that's awesome. Well, no, it doesn't go through walls. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Um, next up is the trident. And the trident is found in chests underground. And it's basically the same thing as a spear, but it's less cool. And it does less damage. Um, see, it does 9 damage a hit versus... I mean, this one is harder shit to get, but it's like the best one in the game right now. So the trident's a step down. It's like the second best spear in the game. So there's only three spears. And next is the normal spear. And this is very, very shitty. It's very slow. I hate it. It does five damage to zombies. And you find this spear um, on surface chests, um, basically on the surface of the map, or just below the surface of the map. Um... They're really easy to get. It's meant to be like an early starter weapon. Next, which I've talked about before, is the blowpipe. And the blowpipe are found in the new above ground chests. And they can only be found on maps that are started after 1.05 that have these new above ground chests. They're meant for early level starter characters. And they get ammunition by using seeds. And seeds, as you can see, I was getting by destroying grass. If I destroy grass with pretty much any tool after I've equipped it, not equipped it, but just have gotten the blowpipe and it's in my inventory, then it will allow the grass to drop seeds as the ammunition for this blowpipe. But this thing is fucking terrible. Next up are throwing knives. And throwing knives do about 11, 12 damage each hit. They hit two targets before they fall to the ground or break, one of the two. Um, there's like a chance for either of that to happen. Um, and what else? They drop... Where did I write about these? Oh, okay. They drop... What am I talking about? Okay. They drop in chests and pots pretty much all over the place. And they also are sold by the merchant only during a blood moon, though. So you can buy it from a merchant only if it's a blood moon. Other than that, you can't get them from him. But you can find them underground in chests and pots all over the place. And it's a thrown weapon. Um, next up is the poisoned knife. And the poison knife is pretty much the same thing as the other knife, except you can create these by combining 20 knives, throwing knives, with one vial powder. And you can just do that in your hand anywhere. Um, do I have any vial powder? I mean, no. But if I did, I would be able to, and they do more damage. They do about 15 damage a hit. They're a lot better. Um, I wish it did like a damage over time effect, but who knows? Maybe that's something they'll add in the future, but not right now. 
Next up is the boomerang, the wooden boomerang. The wooden boomerang is found on surface chests and it is basically a starter boomerang item. Just a wooden boomerang. There are a lot of other better boomerangs in the game, like the enchanted boomerang and the fiery boomerang, but this is, I guess, what new players, new characters can get very easily because it's on the surface found in chests. Next up are, I think I'm just going to talk about Hellfire Arrows, which can be found in Hellworld in pots and chests, and they light up the place. And when you shoot a monster with it, just like you saw, they go boom. Does 20 damage, and it makes them go boom. It's pretty cool. I think it might damage multiple targets. Yeah, looks like it does. That's pretty cool. I really like that. Um, what else do I want to talk about? I think I'm going to go... Uh, I don't have any sand on me. I'm going to go back to my base, and I'm going to talk about a few other things. But I'm going to pause this right now so I can get back to my base and talk about those things. All right, be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So next up on my list is I'm going to talk about the sand gun. And the sand gun is a crafted item. And it is crafted by using illegal parts and antlion mandal uh, mandibles. Let me find some sand here. I'll show you how it works. Um, the sand gun is just a, like a gun that shoots sand blocks. So that's kind of like a cool little nifty little thing. Um, you can like block up a wall really quick. It's kind of cool. Um, but you get illegal gun parts. They are sold from the arms dealer and it's only during a new moon. And a new moon means that there is no moon in the sky that night. It's uh, the beginning of the moon cycle. And it is sold for one platinum at the arms dealer. I need to grab my pick. And yeah, so that's how you get the illegal gun parts. It's kind of expensive, but whatever. And the antlion mandibles are dropped from the antlions, which are in the desert biomes. They're those little guys that hang out in the sand and spit sand blocks at you. But yeah, they drop the mandibles and you use, let me see what the number is exactly. It's 10 mandibles and one illegal gun part and five topaz and that creates the gun here I can make one right now because I think I have all the yep I have all the materials so I will go to the furnace because that's where you create it and you can go here and I see it's one illegal gun part ten antline mandibles and five topaz and that's how you make it after that, what do I want to talk about? I'll talk about the tombstones. Tombstones are pretty cool. Um, they now have hardcore players, which they reset and drop a tombstone when they die. So you can actually use a hammer and grab those tombstones, very similar to a sign, and you can place them and edit what it says. So that's pretty badass. So you can add tombstones anywhere, kind of like signs. Real creepy, bro. Um, the guide boom doll is something that you can equip into your accessory slot, and when you do that, you can do damage to the guide, but unfortunately, I think the guide is helpful now, so I wouldn't want to hurt him. I like my guide. But if I wanted to, I could say, ha! But only if you have this equipped, because if you don't have this equipped in your accessory slot, oh, you can't do anything. And I don't want to destroy this, but if you take this guide voodoo doll and say I were to throw it into this lava and destroy it, it would kill the guide instantly. It would do like 9,000 damage to him and kill him. And those are dropped from the demons in Hellworld, but it's only the voodoo demons. And the voodoo demons are almost exactly like the other demons, except they're carrying a little miniature guide voodoo doll from their claws. You can see they're just different in that one way. Other than that, what else do we got? We got some new social items. We have um, the familiar shirt, pants, and wig, which is dropped, which can be sold actually, from the cloth ear at any time. You 
can go to him see I bet he's selling it right now maybe yep he's just selling these and you can just pick that up and that pretty much sets you to I think it's the clothing that you're normally set at yeah which I'm a bald just completely black and all bald so that's why it's all black for me but it probably looks a little different depending on what you your character looks like but it makes you look normal even though you have armor on other than that we got a the Mimi mask and this is sold from the cloth year during a blood moon and only during a blood moon it's kind of creepy I like keeping the fucking I look like I'm a member of Daft Punk right now that's why I like that mask anyway um and then we also got the doctor's shirt and the doctor's pants which is a playoff on Doctor Who and it is sold from the cloth year during a full moon um, for 20 gold each piece and uh, I forgot to say the Mimi mask is 2 gold each piece and the familiar clothes are 1 gold each piece um, another item that you can get is the diving helmet and the diving helmet adds 2 defense and it extends your underwater breathing so you can put that on and it just looks like you got a diving helmet on basically and that's pretty cool it helps a lot when you're like going underwater and shit what else do we got oh yeah the aglet the aglet is essentially the same thing as the anklet of the wind except it is slower it's just five percent instead of ten percent um and it drops on chests then the surface or just under underground and they're meant for like low level characters that are just starting out in the game also we got golden chests which are found all over um they're rarer chests and yeah they're baller and they shine and stuff like that so that's pretty cool stuff that um what else do we got after that i think that's everything i think i've covered everything yeah, so that's all the new weapons and clothing and how to create everything and where to buy all the new stuff. Oh, also, sticky glow sticks is the same thing. Glow sticks drop from all over the place, pots, chests, also jellyfish, and you can combine them with a gel and turns into a sticky glow, glow stick, which will stick to the wall. Anyway, that's all. See you guys.